In this video, you're gonna learn about the control panel, how to open it, how to use it, and why do you need it. Let's get started. So, in order to open the control panel, you go to Tools, Do Z, Control Panel, or you have a keyboard shortcut, Alt D. So I just press Alt D and the control panel will open. This is the central location where all the settings and databases can be accessed and managed. And when you first open it, you will be at the general tab where you have two columns, the functionality column and the integrations column. In the functionality column, you can enable or disable one of the DoZUI's uh, modules, the orientation detector. This uh, allows you to detect where the, uh, the target device is in landscape or portrait mode and is uh, meant for mobile platforms. So if you are developing an app or a game for a mobile platform and uh, you want to have different views depending on the orientation, on the device's uh, orientation, well, you will have it, you will have to enable it in order for it to work. On the other hand, for the integrations, if you are planning to use uh, Playmaker, Master Audio or Text Mesh Pro, you should enable them from here. The system will detect whether they are installed and uh, it will allow you to enable the support for them. For example, for TextMesh Pro, because I'm using Unity 2019, I already have it installed, and all I have to do is click this and enable it. When enabling an integration, a scripting default symbol will be added to all your build target groups. For TextMesh Pro, it will be DUI underscore TextMesh Pro. For Master Audio, it will be DUI Master Audio, and for Playmaker, DUI Playmaker. What I mean by that is that when I click yes, every build target group will have this symbol added, and you can see your scripting define symbols in edit, project settings, and here you go to player. Let me show you. Other settings, and here we have you have your scripting define symbols. Right now, this project has no symbol defined, but if I click here and I say, okay, enable it, now we have to wait for Unity to compile. And you'll see that we now have DUI Text Mesh Pro added and disenable Text Mesh Pro for my project. The same goes for uh, all the other integrations for, so for Playmaker and Master Audio. Of course, if you disable it, again, this scripting defined symbol will be automatically removed. Let's uh, go on to the databases. Here we have all our databases. In this case, this is the UI Canvas database with Canvas names, and you can add more from here. You can sort them and you can refresh the database. Here we have the UI views. Uh, these are the um, category and their names. These are just simple um, lists of strings for UI buttons, UI drawers, and here we have pop-up names and their pop-up reference, pop-up prefab reference. So if you're using that. This is the sound database, and we have several sound databases sorted by uh, type, and you also have players, so you can preview every sound. Of course, you can do that from here. You can remove them. And you can, of course, add more. Every, uh, data, every sound database also has an output mixer group, should you want to use one. And you also have a scrubber for uh, your music. So if I click uh, here, let's say play, I can scrub the music. I can even pause with the middle mouse button. And with the right mouse button is equivalent of the stop. So right click, left click, middle click, right click. All right, let's uh, continue. Oh, also uh, here we have the settings. So these are uh, the general settings for uh, Sound D, especially for the sound puller. But I won't get into that because that's a uh, specific feature of the system. Here we have settings for uh, the touch manager, actually the touch detector. Here we have some general settings for uh, Node, the node graph engine that comes with the ZUI. 
Here you have default settings for uh, certain components. So when you create a UI button, for example, you can have certain components and you also can enable and disable certain functionalities. For example, if you're not using pointer down and pointer up, you can have them disabled or enabled. Let's continue. This is the debug tab. And here you can enable global debug for each component type. So for example, if I enable this, every UI button will start printing relevant messages in the console. So if I want to debug game events, I will debug game event manager and I will capture all the game events that are sent throughout the system. If I want to debug scene loaders, every time I use a scene loader, the system will uh, print rele relevant messages to the console. So this is uh, very useful, but bear in mind that this is a global debug and it will affect all the component types that you have enabled. So this will enable debug for all the game event listeners. Of course, every, uh, every component has its own uh, debug option. So a local debug for that particular component. This is a global debug system. Here you have help resources. Uh, we worked a lot in uh, creating the website. So you have the website, you have the documentation, frequently asked questions, and of course, a support email. On the other hand, you have a direct link to the Unity manual, Unity script API, .NET API browser, and for do twin. And here you have some social links so you can um, easily find uh, our YouTube channel, our Twitter handle, our Facebook page, and uh, the Discord server. In the final tab, you have some uh, words about the system, and here you also know the version you are using. In this case, it's 3.0. And that would be it for uh, the control panel. We also have integrated the language support, but right now we're only supporting English. In uh, future updates, we will be adding several other languages. Well, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. <laughs>